I know you can drop five shots in two weeks using this drill. I've had clients do this and all it is is about keeping your relationship to the ground the same, not standing up because when you stand up, you fat it, you thin it, you top the golf ball, there is nothing worse. Now we're answering this question today and it really hit me. Graham asked the question saying, why do I hit it better when I swing like a three quarter swing? Well, the honest answer to that is, you keep your angle to the ground better. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can bring this into your game. This is what I said to John, right? I want you to feel as though you're staying over that golf ball. And he almost felt like his left shoulder was going down towards the ground. Now, this is that horrible thing in golf, feel and real. And all you've got to think, if you keep your relationship to the ground, you can get to the bottom of that golf ball, not catch it halfway up. So really easy, grab yourself a tee peg. Now, if you're at the range, just place your head cover down. It's a focus point. So look at this here. Club it outside, I've just placed a tee peg. Now, all I'm going to imagine to start off with is that I make a swing pointing the bottom end of this golf club. This is sort of that first part to learning this at that tee peg. And again, I had to keep saying, John, get over, get that left bend, get this action in your backswing, and then just repeat that with the right shoulder on the way through. The thing what I love about this is that it works very, very quickly. John literally used this, took himself three or four rain sessions within a week, and he then shot 80. I know not quite breaking 80, something now would have been beautiful, but going from 85 to 80 is massive. And that's because if you keep your relationship to the ground the same throughout that backswing and downswing, you're gonna find that middle more often. Okay, so, the idea behind this, if you think of this, I, I sort of liken the analogy to a windmill. So if I put my arms out, right? Get over in golf posture. We want to imagine we work back and we work down and our windmill or our helicopter propellers stay in the same place. I know it doesn't feel comfortable right now, but I might feel like you're really going down and going down, but you can understand if your arms are working through the same space, where your propellers are going are always going to be repeatable. If you then stand up in the backswing, that's hiring your swing, giving you more likely that chance of hitting it fat, thin, topping it, and the same on the way down. Now, this is the genius part of this drill. I want you to imagine our ball's teed up here, or we're receiving a pitch in baseball, or we're hitting it away in tennis. It's a lot more comfortable and it just makes sense in our brain if we hit something up here. Because all we've got to do is turn round ourselves and turn round ourselves in order to get that ball perfectly away. And you keep your relationship to where the ball's going really, really easily. So, like, just make a few swings at that height. Imagine, and I really encourage you, if you're at the range right now, do this along with me. If you're not, save this video and make sure you take it to the range because it'll really work. Just make a few swings. Now look at that. My spine angle's not changing, is it? If you looked at my shoulders, they're staying through this same space. And you can do that really, really easily. Look at that. So the simple thing is, and this is probably a bit of a eureka moment, that is the same as the golf swing. All it is, is tilted more over down towards the ground to repeat the same motion. Now I know that might feel a little bit uncomfortable to you, so use this little trick that I've got. It's a great little trick this, I'm excited to show you, so let's do it. I'm really excited to hit this and I'm that confident. I've got four iron in my hand. Now I wouldn't tell you this if, unless I do the same things in my golf game and really believe this works. So I want you just to hit two away. Your first one, I want you to really exaggerate it. You're not gonna believe how much you can exaggerate this. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna imagine there's a little laser coming out of my left shoulder. I'm gonna get to point at that tee peg. Really, really easy. Now watch this method. I'm gonna hit this one away. Look how nice that strike was. And that's with a four iron. How good's that? I need to remind myself of that more often. Okay. So, I really felt like I was exaggerating that. Now, a simple thing you can do on the golf course, because obviously we, we couldn't put a tee peg there, but come here. 
I've got the tea peg there, haven't I, right? But there's always like maybe a leaf or a bit of crap on the ground or something. I want you to have that as your focus point to point that left shoulder out. So let me hit another one here and that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you can see now when I'm exaggerating that move, I'm keeping that relationship to the ground now as if I was doing that same thing when I was hitting that baseball away, but just tilted over. Really easy, really simple. Do make sure you subscribe and turn the bell to never miss any of our free golf tips.